We were trying to pinpoint when we first began. Turn it up, huh? It's like a family. Yeah. It's like a family rolling down the road, you know? And I love that myself. Yeah. We still enjoy getting to do what we get to do. Whatever God throws our way, we're happy with. Yeah. It's what we do. Sweet home Alabama. We've done a lot of shows together. Well, I love hearing all those great ZZ Top yeah. songs, man. You know same on, same on the, the Skinner set list is one of everything you'd want to hear. The popularity of the combination of, of these two American iconic groups. We like to see it when the fire marshal is starting to get really nervous. <laughs> Agreed. Easy and Skinner have been doing shows like really sudden years with my brother in the band and all the all the other guys. Yeah. When you speak of the beginning point for both groups, we're talking about the raucous rambunctiousness of the 70s. There's a, there's a lot of questions still unanswered. <laughs> <laughs> for us, there's so many great Skinner songs, you know, and it's hard to put together or something like it really is. And uh, what we'll do, we'll start out here in Savannah, and then we'll add to it, take out, add to it, play around with it until we get it just right. There's always the, the, the mystery. Uh, sometimes it's planned. Uh, we'll leave an open slot in the middle of the show. It's got me under pressure. And somebody gets assigned to call out a song from way back or maybe something recent. Keeps you on your toes. You get families coming in, and you look at it, and they're from 8 to 80 now, is your fans. So you're spreading over a four or five generation, you know, and for two bands like this, that's, that's really amazing. I think one of my favorite things about Freebird was whenever I joined with the band back in 86, 87, I did not sing Freebird. I thought, you know, my brother Ronnie wrote the song. I said, you know what, I think I want to hear the crowd sing it. You know, they knew the lyrics. And I'd always leave the stage, and the band would take the stage. Gary's back there, and he was like, I'm not going out tonight, not unless you sing Freebird. And he looked at me, he said, your brother was a singer and a songwriter. He would want you to sing this song. And I went back out that night and I've been singing it ever since. Not long ago, there was a kid at the barricade. I would say he was like around five or six years old. <laughs> On air guitar, he played yeah. every lick. That's what I've been doing all these years. And here's the funny part. Here's the great part about it. I'm looking at him playing Freebird and he was like right with me. come into a place like this and it's packed and you hear all these iconic songs. I mean, where can you see it in one joint other than this like this? It's amazing. And this has always been a winning combination. Yes. Yeah.